you're branching out into all these new areas. Hi, I'm John Matrini. We're here backstage at John Elliott. Let's talk to him about his latest Spring Summer 2017 collection. Well, it's so great to see you, John. I'm looking at this board here, and there's a lot of color, which is fantastic. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely new for us. Um, we had always kind of like stayed predominantly in like a gray scale. So this season, the title being Watching Water, um, we felt it was appropriate to like play with pop colors and, you know, explore a little bit. That's, you know, that's the point of this is to try and push forward. So yeah, definitely a lot of colors. Also some interesting processes and hopefully like thoughts that relate back to quite literally Watching Water, but, um, you know, also like a little bit deeper than that, if that makes sense. Right. The baby blues, the blues, yeah. uh, and even a really beautiful, um, dare I say pink? Is it pink or what is it? Yeah, I mean, you can call it pink. I, you know, it, pink was something that I think for us is super unexpected, but I think it can also like be a huge sign of like confidence. Right. You know, everything always comes out of curiosity. It's like a curiosity that I'll have that I want to try to explore. And then every once in a while, you it doesn't turn out, but you know, this actually I'm pretty excited about. I think, you know, the, the pop blue, the Kelly green, the pink, like they, they speak to the season. And you're always a shining light. I, almost every time I've seen you, you are almost always wearing white yourself. Yeah, I, I you know, it's actually true. I, I wear white pretty much every day. I don't know what it is. I just, uh, I wore all white for the first runway show, the first runway show we ever did. And that was probably the scariest day of my life, the most nervous I've ever been. And we got through that day, and it was a success. And it was so weird. Actually, I've never really like truly like thought about it until you just asked me that. But um, yeah, I've been wearing white like almost every day since then. I see a lot of technical fabrics, and so a lot of anoraks and rain jackets. A lot of new pieces in the collection. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, because the collection is titled "Watching Water," um, you know, I wanted it to like feel that it was, you know, what would you need if you were watching water? And a lot of it was kind of inspired by either like what I would want if I was in a yacht club or if I was actually on a yacht. And, you know, I try to take a more functional approach. Um, I like, you know, for us, we want to try and explore heat sealed seams, waterproof fabrics, and then take, you know, more wovens like a, a linen or, you know, like a plaid and how do you make that waterproof and how do you make those seams, you know, heat sealed so that water can't actually get in. So it's quite literally like what you would need if you were watching water, which to me is like the ultimate sign of luxury. And where do you go to watch water? I have a couple spots, but you know, I, I live in LA. Every once in a while I'll, I'll trek out to Malibu and daydream about what it would be like to have a spot up there. You can't forget about the shoes. So, shoes are always big, I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoes are, shoes, I'm a shoe guy, I'm a shoe fanatic, I'm a, I'm a Nike, you know, addict. Um, Last season you had those fabulous Nike shoes yeah, that you yeah, brought yeah, back? Yeah, the, the up tempos. So this season, because the title is Watching Water, we had this idea to put aqua socks on the runway. Um, so we sourced and found uh, vintage aqua socks and those will be on the runway. So, you know, it hopefully brings a little bit of energy, helps tell the story. Um, we also, of course, have our own shoes in-house. And um, yeah, you know, we have highs, lows, and then a couple surprises with Nike. Any new pieces coming out? There's a ton of new pieces. Um, the most notable will probably be sunglasses, the towels, which are beautiful. Really, everything started with this towel. I and love that look, it just strapped around him, that yeah, looks amazing. Yeah, that towel was kind of like inspired by a wallpaper and then like a, uh, a fountain that we had. That towel was a starting point for everything, so towels are new. You know, the thing about like me as we grow as a, like, as a company, I really am starting to, I'm growing with the product. So I have these curiosities of things that I want to try to explore, but it's also stuff that I want. Um, so a towel is kind of like, it's, you know, it's more of like a home good. So. Who knows, maybe that will be like, you know, the next kind of generation of what we start to invest in. You know, it's just curiosities and trying to solve your own problems, really. Where can we find all the new goods? Uh, online or in some of the stores yeah. yet? Yeah, our web store, uh, johnelliot.co, um, and then, you know, uh, Bergdorf Goodman, Barney's, uh, Harvey Nichols, Mr. Porter, Essence, um, yeah. Thank you so much, John. Thank you, sure. thank you so yeah, much. I really appreciate it. Thank you.